Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back from early morning New York City. It's 4.07 a.m. local time. My name is Axel Toss, joined by Marcus, a.k.a. a giant smurf. Bazan, they say it right? Bazan. Bazan. Marcus Bazan. How's it going, man? You just gone great. You, you tired yet? No. No, never. I've had some Teddy Grahams. I'm good. And you're Batman. I'm also Batman. Batman. Don't tell anybody. It's a doesn't secret. doesn't get tired. I just told the entire world. Don't worry. <laughs> Our viewers will not tell. I promise. Um, okay, so we're about to get into the next match. It's going to be Pal versus Daisy. A lot of people in this lobby. I kind of want them to make you host so I can tell a story about Pal. Pal is the guy we're going to get into. Basically, I, I mentioned it before. He made a Reddit thread. Um, the title was DreamHack Open Bucharest Need Community's Help. Hey, I'm Pal. I play Protoss and StarCraft 2 for Polish team Max Flow Play. Uh, I'm in a tough spot. I really want to do a 10... DreamHack Bucharest, and I was thrilled to hear that my team wanted to send me there. Sadly, we signed up too late, and as you can see, I'm not part of the competitor list. I was practicing a lot before that, blah, 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 blah. And basically, he said, um, I tried asking all the people around to find a solution, but it seems too late now. He joined late, or he, he, it was a mess up by his team, and he didn't have the money because the tickets doubled. And then he asked for any donations on Reddit so people can help him get in there. Guess what? They made it happen, and now Pal is here in this next match. The countdown has begun. Pal made it to DreamHack, and also he went 2-0 in his first match. And he's playing against Daisy in this match. And it's going to be on Roland. What do you think? What do you think about this story, Marcus? Well, it's PvP on a pretty big map. Yep. Uh, Pal, he's got he's got something to prove. I mean, uh, he reached out to the community. The community said, hey, here's your, here's your big chance. Make a name for yourself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's already ahead in his group, so now he's going up against Daisy. And if oh, he yeah. takes down Daisy, we, we know that he's, he's, he's not he's he's not playing around. He's very serious. You know, I'm having a flashback. And maybe maybe Ron can help me. Ron, our producer. I don't know if Ron was there. Maybe it was Lennox that was there. Uh, but it was a situation where we had a, a King of the Hill at MLG. You know, we have stuff going on every day on the stream. Um, and on, on this specific day, we had a King of the Hill uh, open to the community. And it was after, like, a show match Destiny or something. We won't talk about that, though. Um, now, Pal was actually actually came on the North American server to play. I'm not remembering this now, and he won like six in a row. It's impressive. He was destroying everyone, and I'm like, okay, who's gonna play this guy who can actually beat him? And no one was beating him. And then I decided to take things into my own hands, Marcus. I actually played, and I made a. I was a decent game, dude. I sent it to about 20 minutes. It was a PVP on Belshir Vestige. I remember the game. And it came down to, I was he was attacking my third base, and I was defending, and he sent a warp prism in. He loves his warp prism. So, Pal is going to be a developing story throughout this dream heck, dream hack, excuse me, Bucharest. Definitely keep an eye on that. His opponent, of course, Daisy. Uh, a little bit more, a little bit better known, I guess we should say. But the map, the map is rolling. It is PvP. What builds would you expect from these players on this map? Mm, Whirlwind is a very tricky map. Um, you could see fast expands, you could see four gates even, just because of how long it takes to scout your opponent. I mean, I've, I've seen Dark Templar, I've seen Oracles, I've seen Phoenix, I've, I've seen all sorts of things. Uh, but uh, Daisy, very, very fortunate for him. He will be scouting Pal on his first attempt. Pal, on the other hand, will not be scouting Daisy anytime yeah. soon. So Daisy, hands down, will be having the advantage going into the early game. We'll have to see what he does with the information he gains from this scout. Of course, just going to be uh, zapping away at that pylon. Uh, nothing too special. Only one gas opening from Gate Daisy so far, while we have two gases from Pal. So very early deviation in the play from our two Protoss players. I feel like fast expansion might be the go-to on a map like this. Um, I would say oh, no. maybe more so for... Daisy, Daisy's gonna four gate. I can, I can see it. He's chrono boosting. Oh my god! He's dude. chrono boosting the cyber core. He's still got fifty chrono oh. boost on his nexus. And he saw that he saw the probe didn't scout him. Yeah. So okay, but look, the probe is actually going right across the map. He didn't go to that third base. He's going straight across the map. He knows exactly where his opponent is. Now what's gonna be important here? Pal needs to make sure not to let the pylon get up. He's gonna get a nexus down. Uh, no, he's actually sending a zealot down to his natural. He has two gases. What are the moves Pal needs to make right, right now to defend against his four gate? Uh, he needs to get this mothership core out for sure, and he's. He's also got to get out some sentries. I mean, he does not have the infrastructure needed to to fight the four gate head on. I mean, normally if you have He's like three gates, this. 
He is. I mean, oh. he sees the, yeah, he sees the, the, he the Chrono Boost, he and he sees one gas. He, he sees knows. two more gates. Yeah, he knows it's coming. Wow. But there's only two gateways. Yeah. So it's only a three gate. Is there St it's still gateway? ability to apply a lot of pressure. Just a little bit of a little bit more flexibility. I mean, he's not making probes. He's this is actually a big deal. I like how Pal kind of sends his probe to the back of the base because it draws the Stalker to the back of the base. Yeah. And when you do that, it makes it so the Stalker has to walk further to get to his base. So that's actually a, a very slight advantage. But you know, only three gates coming out of Daisy. We do have three gates on the way for Pal as well. A second Stalker, and he's kind of boosting his warp gate. So. Uh, some good control from Pal using the uh, the ramp advantage. I think yep. Pal will will be okay for the time okay. being. Okay, let's see what happens. He has no sentry or two stalkers and a zealot. He's gonna have mothership core photon overcharge not yet done. He's gonna have to let his opponent up, which you never really want to have to do. The pro coming up here from Daisy, a very nicely timed push, extending forward. Three gateways gonna be finishing up here for Pal. He's been corner boosting those, trying to get units on the field. Also adding a robotics facility, just trying to stay safe. But Daisy coming forward, mothership core gonna get targeted down. No, oh. he needs that. A time warp gonna have to be used, so not gonna have that photon overcharge. But good news is time warp down he has three gateways up he can warp in more units but can he shove daisy away yeah very very slight uh, blunder on the, the part of pal he really should have kept the motion core back i mean it was so close it had a, you know 90 something energy uh but now daisy gonna be trying to pick off these pylons try to supply block his opponent stalkers pressing forward while the stalkers of power retreat pylon is gonna be going down and that is actually a critical supply block Pal does not have any pylons on the way until just now, so... He, uh, he was able to warp in a Stalker before that supply block happened, so he's going to try to delay as long as possible. He's, he's got to protect probes. those pylons. Yeah, going to pull those probes. I'm okay with that. Now, he has a Robo finish, so he's going to have that tech advantage. He just needs to hold on. He has a probe advantage, too, 23 to 17, so he can afford to lose some probes. Can't afford to lose Stalkers. Every single Stalker is so important here. Try to target those down. It's going to be probe versus Zealots. This is a great engagement here for Daisy. Targeting down the Stalkers. More reinforcements coming in here from Pal. He's going to take down the Zealots, and the Stalker's going to be shoot away, but... Daisy with a supply advantage. Gonna try to retain that. Harvester advantage is now even, but the Stalker advantage is now going to Daisy. There's the GG from Pal. And Daisy takes the victory. I felt like everything was in place there for Pal to defend that. What are the main things you would have liked to see him do differently there to try to hold that off? He had to keep the Mothership Core alive. That was critical. Yeah. I mean, um, you keep the Mothership Core alive. I mean, even if you lose a handful of probes, if you can get that Nexus cannon online, it buys you time, you have more probes, you have more gas income, which is very important. And the 60 seconds that you buy with the Nexus Cannon will allow you to get the higher stalker count. Yeah. So when you have the higher stalker count in PvP, then it becomes a micro game. As long as your micro is on par or better than that of your opponent, you will eventually, through micro, be able to overcome the army disadvantage. Yeah, that, mother that, that was a good snipe there from mother Daisy. Mothership Core. Pal needed to keep that back. That, that's what decided yeah. it. So Daisy's going to go up 1-0 in this best of three, guys. we got more games coming your way. You're watching DH, DreamHack, Bucharest 2013. We'll be right back after a quick break.